uh, work through these multiple terms here. Uh, what you're doing is same kind of thing, uh, simplifying what you're looking for. So we have uh, perfect square factors that we're removing from uh, 128, which is 64 times 2. The square root of 64 comes out as an 8. The factor of 2 stays inside the radical. And then simplify the powers as well. So we're looking for groups of 2. So we can remove 4 groups of 2 from 8, leaving nothing inside. We can remove 6 groups of 2 from 13, leaving 1y inside. Move on to the next. We have our 2. Again, uh, this time we're looking at a cube root. Okay, So it's a slightly different radical here. So the 3 stays where it is. We're looking at groups of 3 now that to remove from inside the radical. So we can remove 4 groups of 3 from the 12, leaving no x's inside. And here we can remove 6 groups of 3 from the y's, leaving 1y inside. Okay, so this would be our second term. And then the final term here, we have a 5. We have x and y already. Our 3 stays inside the radical. We're looking at groups of 2. So we can remove three groups of two. So that comes out as another x3, x to the third, with no x's left inside. And here we have the um, last term. We have five groups of two y's that we can remove. And that leaves one y inside. Okay, so when we're looking to uh, simplify what we have, uh, what, we're, what we notice here is that um, square root of 2y, cube root of 3y, square root of 3y. So none of those are going to combine with each other. So our overall simplified answer is just going to be this whole list. I'm going to write it here. So uh, 8x to the 4th, y to the 6th, times the square root of 2y, minus 2x to the 4th, y to the 6th, times the cube root of 3y, plus 5x times x cubed is x to the fourth, y times y to the fifth is y to the sixth, times the square root of 3y. Again, none of these terms combine, and so you're going to have to leave them as three individual uh, parts of this expression.